Now I want to talk about a new film, which is about the cats of Malta. And Sarah Jane Portelli is with me now. Sarah Jane, you're very welcome to the programme. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. Great stuff. Well, I think we have a couple of clips from this, don't we? We can we can see uh, or at least hear uh, uh, what is on the on uh, in this film. So maybe we can play those now. I want to be a pilot because you can get a lot of money with this and I want to open a cat sanctuary. In fact, everyone knows me as the cat. <laughs> the cat girl. My life is just cats. Huh. I started seeing cats and eventually I started feeding them as well, knowing that it was, you know, <laughs> downhill all the way now. I think she's more of a girl. Female cats have more of this sort of elegance to... The boys are much more rounder, no? Like we call them babushu. And I gave her a kitten and she started holding it. And it was like I won a lottery when I saw her so happy with the kitten in her arms. His arm all infected and he was flying from the walls. See this cat going crazy. He looked at me like he wanted to literally attack me. I believe that the country is judged even by the way they keep their animals. If you don't have any of you don't love yourself. And cats extend life, as I said. Cats give life. Well, this is a new film called Cats of Malta. Malta's full of cats. Sarah Jane Portelli is the director of Cats and Malta. Sarah Jane, they say never work with children or animals, but they were both in that little teaser of the film. Tell us about it. Tell us where you got the idea from, uh, why you decided to make the film. Uh, so the idea came from, actually stemmed from the pandemic when we were not allowed to film in groups and my Maltese production company at the time, Nexus Production Group, had just bought a camera. We wanted to start filming our own films. We couldn't film a narrative, so we went to a park in Malta called Cat Park. It's really called Independence Gardens, but because there's a lot of cat colonies, it's called that. So we went there and just they started... They care less about their independence and more about the cat. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So we started filming cats and we had a lot of cat footage. And then I started finding people around. I was aware that there was a lot of cats in Malta because I was living there at the time. So I just wanted to know more about the story and who are these people that were feeding the cats. And incidentally, I found Matthew Pandolfino first, who was painting the cat statue in that garden. So I spoke to him a few times and then it started rolling. I spoke to a cat feeder. I went to a cat cafe. And I just found more and more people were in love with cats and celebrating cats on the island. And I wanted to tell their story. I'm a massive fan of cats. I have a rescue cat. His name is Jack. As many people know, we do Cat of the Week on this uh, station. We also do Rescue Animal of the Week. It can be anything, but sometimes they're cats. Uh, I'm a massive cat person. You don't need to sell this film to me, Sarah Jane, but if there was somebody who said, ah, actually, is this, is this something I'm really going to go and see? Uh, what would you say to them? Why would you... What, what's so compelling about Malta's relationship with cats? Um, the most compelling thing about cats in Malta is the community that they bring together because you see that in this film we've had people who watch the film who said okay I'm not a cat person but this film's really cute I love this film and that's the thing it's a it covers a lot of different things it talks a bit about the history in Malta you'll learn a little bit more about the country it'll tells you about um, the cat connection so the benefits of cats and the mental health benefits it's fun it's cute as well it's emotional and it's a roller coaster ride, I think, and you get to meet the cats and the people. What did you learn from it? Um, I learned a lot from the community about trap neuter return, about the government funding for cats. I learned a lot about animal welfare in Malta. And I learned a lot about the resilience, not only of the cats, but also of the people, because the people who look after cats, they go through a lot and they do a lot for these cats. And it's a very selfless act. They really so care about them. They really, they really connect, don't they? And in Malta, do, do people generally own them, or are there a lot? Presumably, from what I could see there from the trailer, there's a lot, quite a few feral cats and cats that don't have specific owners, but are started to be fed by various people. Um, I think more so. There's more probably strays. At the time of filming, I got the stats of a hundred thousand stray cats. Goodness me! And there's people who feed colonies that are like fifty or more cats. So they feed day and night. So more so, I think there's more strays than there are homes. And just what you're talking there about trap, neuter, return, trapping the cats, getting them uh, spayed and making sure they can't reproduce and then returning them to where they are. I mean, that is so important. But aren't you always sort of slightly fighting a losing battle with that? 
Uh, yes, they are, because at the moment their government has put in 200,000 uh, euro to actually get all the cats off the street, get them neutered and get them either homed or, you know, most of them are going into sanctuaries. So they're trying to actually fix the problem of the stray cats in Malta, but it comes down to education, I think, as well from people who own cats to get them neutered as well if you have a cat and obviously don't dump them into a colony if they're not neutered. Of course. Find somewhere to take them. So you're leading the charge on uh, on education as well. Well, Cats of Malta yeah. is out now. It's on Apple TV. It's on Amazon. I know you've got the US release next week. You must be uh, very happy about that. Is all working perfectly for you? Yes, it's super exciting. Um, we have a lovely PR company helping me. I'm doing the marketing myself, so yeah. I'm on the front line. <laughs> and trying Excellent. To get well, we, we will certainly help you here. Um, that is Cats of Malta, out now on Apple TV and indeed on Amazon. It's got its US release next week. If you happen to be listening in the United States, it is a great film. Uh, Sarah Jane uh, Portelli is the director. Thank you very, very much indeed. I will certainly be watching that. In fact, I'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks, and that is something I'm going to probably watch then.